Ash, great having you here as our battery expert. And first question on sodium batteries out of China. I heard that the, the first EV is now being launched in China. Could you share a bit with our audience on what it's all about with the sodium batteries in China? Let's take the story a little bit back to the beginning. Uh, China has been developing LFP for more than 10 years now. They're a big fan of incremental improvements. I have a feeling that they want to stay away from those battery metals that are involved in other chemistries like NMC, which North Americans and Europe, Europeans have preferred. And so when, when you look at you know other battery chemistries that are more energy dense, you, get, you have to deal with nickel, you have to deal with cobalt. Um, with LFP, you don't need to deal with any of that. And so they want to do that, I think, as a means of being independent from supply chains. Naturally, uh, they've already perfected LFP. Sodium ion is even more less reliant on these battery metals. Most of the chemicals or most of the materials that come in sodium ions are rock minerals, uh, everyday materials that you can find very low cost, highly available. And so they don't foresee a resource limit to, to developing sodium ion. Um, and to me, that makes perfect sense. Okay. Um, so now with sodium ion uh, being readily available, is, is that going to then also put pressure on, on lithium prices um, midterm? Or is it different use cases because you have micro EVs, small range versus uh, large capacity batteries and it's just different markets? I think there's room for both to exist. And there are is a serious limitation. Well, not that serious, but there is a limitation for sodium ion. And not many people talk about this, but um, so let's get the terminology straight to begin with. A lot of people talk about energy density, and I think that's the wrong term. We always start with um, what hours per kilogram. So that's gravimetric. The proper term for that is specific energy, right? So the specific energy of sodium ion versus lithium ion is getting very close. Um, and LFP can be about 180 watt hours per kilogram. LFP, uh, sorry, sodium ion is around 160 uh, with projections to maybe 200 watt hours per kilogram. So that's the, the amount of energy carries per unit weight. And that's actually pretty good for an EV today and for smaller EVs. The problem is when we look at energy density, the correct metric for energy, energy density is watt hour per liter right, per unit volume, how much space does it occupy in that application? Sodium ion is actually two times worse than lithium ion in energy density. So if you look at it, it won't, it won't weigh that much more, but it'll occupy a, approximately twice the space um, in a given battery pack that you have. Uh, and so that does, you know, raise a question into, can you really put them into smaller EVs? Are they more suited to bigger EVs like buses and trucks? Or should they just be, you know, be used for grid scale applications instead where space is not that much of a consideration, right? Um, and so I don't think there's an immediate threat or an immediate competition to lithium ion, uh, given that LFP is already very mature and it, it's already performing very well in, in EVs and smaller EVs.